unbearable Psychologically I'm Hannibal I'm surgical when I'm putting letters together like Scrabble I'm flying over your head without a fucking Learjet When I take off with some triple the force You couldn't offset the effect of my rhyme with a simple math equation A buck fifty a rapper with multiple lacerations Flam bam and leave him vanquished on the pavement And put his fucking ghost in a box Peter Bankman wow. I'm the dirtiest, nerdiest individual From the punchline of scrimmage I'm straight hand when I'm blitzing you really? In point precision these bars are not missing you When a rhyme is gonna feel like the force of Thor hitting you You're not my man. You're not my man. You're a genius. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> there will be death. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Okay. Oh yeah, came in with that uh-huh. energy. All right, I got him. Well, yeah, but he there. does have, but he does have Hello Kitties in the back. <laughs> Damn it, Hello Kitty toys. <laughs> nah, those are actually pop Hello. vinyls. Hello, Hello, Kitty, Hello toys. Kitty toys. <laughs> I got, I got some too, bro. But they call him Hello Kitty toys. Black Widow, <laughs> and I got Spider Man. No Hello Kitty over here. That's Hello <laughs> Kitty, sir. <laughs> right, lies, <hold> pure lies. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, they developed that. They were like, man, it'd be cool if boys liked Hello Kitty too. <laughs> I have an idea. Pop. Look how big them shits are now. All right, hold on. Let me set up here. All right, I think I'm good. I think I started the recording. Let me double check because, okay. All right, I'm not fucking up. All right, I'm ready to rock. All right, you guys ready? Let's go. I'm going to be ready, eating ready. Be eating a little bit during this. I got a little more food left, but that's life sometimes. Sometimes you got to eat to survive. Is but, that um, how that works? <laughs> that's, that is how we eat to live. Okay. But uh, I'm John D. Contradiction. We got my man M over here with a nice hat. We got my man Walko straight from Krypton with the fresh cut. (laughs) (laughs) You know what I'm saying? (laughs) You know what I'm saying? You're on his Khalil shit right now. But uh, (laughs) that's the infamous M. (laughs) That's that's him. Everybody hates him. Dude, doesn't it just piss you off that he's got these baby ass eyes? Yeah, but he, he looks so nice. Yeah. Like, you know, like, love a boy. And then you read his reviews and be like, damn, who pissed in your Cheerios? John, he says I was bullied as a kid. He may be right. Facts. <laughs> but uh, introduce yourself, sir. Welcome coming on, man. Introduce yourself. Well, thank you. Thank you. My name is Dirty Needles. And I like to rap and stuff <laughs> and things of that nature. Yo, explain that name. Off rip. Yeah, we got to know. Let's talk. Okay. Well, I came up with the name back in 2001. Ironically, I was in the bathroom writing rhymes on the toilet. And there was there was this documentary going on, um, I think, what you call it, the Science Channel or whatever the hell it was called. And they were talking about intravenous drug use. And they kept saying, dirty needles, dirty needles, dirty needles. And I was like, yo, that <laughs> sounded like an ill rap name. So I tried to come up with everything possible to rhyme with dirty needles. And it just stuck. Okay. No pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> Bars. All right. I'm not mad at that at all. That's a good, that's a good, that's a good yeah. origin story. I, see, this is this is the Long Island thing for you because Long, Long Island is very bad with heroin. When you were like <laughs> writing rhymes in a bathroom, I immediately was like, he saw needles. There's on the dirty floor. needles on the floor. Because yeah, if you rap in a bathroom in Long Island, there's needles on the floor. You ever been? To, you know, well, for Mark, he's only in Long Island, dude. You ever been to Hempstead train station? Of course. That's that's the uh, one place where you will guarantee you find it, it's dirty needles village, on the man. floor. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's fucked up. Zombie village. <laughs> It's a fact. We don't go to Hampstead. Nobody goes around. No. <laughs> but okay. Just leaning out on the walls and shit. I like that origin story. That's a cold origin. Because that's a cold name. You know what I'm saying? That's a cold ass name. Especially more, more so now. Because heroin is fucking everywhere up now. Like heroin's like, I'm the new, you know, I'm the new king around here lately. It's the new crack. They yeah. fed it to us. Pill it's form it's first. the new government's crack. And you just worry. You're like, man, how do, how are people just getting access to needles? It's because it's because they, they have they, yeah they give them out for free yeah, yeah, and they recycle their needles for them because they want us you know what that's a deep they want to keep diet. the aids let's, you know what down. let's let's keep this on don't put YouTube. me in my woke yeah, bag. Let's not get too dark. I'm about to get my woke dark. bag like well you know the government nah, nah, nah. <laughs> one fish two fish back in 1975 <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah man so we actually you I've I've actually been seeing your name on the page for a minute. 
and you finally got us some music. So this is going to be the first interview in a while where we talked about music. Because usually the last few ones we've been on some just tangent shit. I don't know what's wrong with us, but we can't help it's it. It's because <laughs> we're not right in the head. <laughs> yeah. Like some, we just force people into conversations like about shit we want to talk about. And we, we don't need to, <laughs> you know. <laughs> they usually enjoy it. Though, yeah. So. I mean, I like Why the change the formula? <laughs> but let's talk about music at least a little bit. We do usually a little bit, and then okay, this is what's going to happen. We're going to talk to you about music. We're going to talk to you about music for about five minutes, and then we're going to go off on a tangent. Yeah, and Johnny's going to come back. I'm going to come out with some theories and some of my Google. And then we're going to talk about rap again, and then we're going to go off it. it, You'll you'll see. Watch. Yeah, we already got your name part. That's usually at the end, but. (laughs) so let's talk about paradise man so i i reviewed paradise um i had a good time it's very smooth i was actually this the cover alone i was like all right you see a cover like that you immediately like all right it's not a girl named dirty needles but you immediately know it's gonna be some smooth shit you don't pick a cover like that if you don't want people to know you know what i'm saying you're not gonna put like fucking big hell's greatest hits with this kind of cover type shit so (laughs) let's talk about it let's talk about this project man for one how was it how did it come out like did people fuck with it besides us? You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, uh, people really fucked with it heavy. Uh, and I can tell you a quick story about the album cover. Yes, talk to me. I was, I always had the idea in my head that I was going to put someone else on the cover, just listening to music, enjoying life. And originally, I was going to have uh, my friend Amanda Mester do it. Shout out to Mester. But um, I kind of went in a different direction. And I picked my friend Humble. She's also a singer. So I asked her to do it. She's like, this is the first time he's ever asked me to do something like that. So she was down for it. And I put her on the cover, you know, just in the sky, listening to music, singing. And that's what I believe Paradise is to all of us. You know, there's a bunch of bullshit going on in the world right now with politics, religion, race Facts. relations, and with music. Once you put those headphones on, all of that ceases to exist, at least for 20, 30, 40, however long the runtime is for a project. Yeah. And that's what I wanted to convey because I really didn't get too deep on many things with this record. It was more so me just showing that I'm with the shits when it comes to the bars. You was punching. And, you was punching. Yeah. On some smooth shit. I can appreciate that because a lot of times <laughs> you hear some smooth shit. Like, I, you know, I write too, so I hear some smooth shit. I'm not going to be like, Yo, I'm finna bar this shit to die. I'm like, no, no, no. You know what I'm saying? I want to relax on it. But I appreciate when someone can do that because off rip is going to be different. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be yeah. different. And that that's something like, you know, it's sometimes it's hard to just do like have a point to prove on a track rather than write what you feel, which is in itself its own thing. And you were just like, yo, fuck it. I'm gonna take this move shit and I'm gonna bar this shit's life away. And it worked. You know what I'm saying? You you did a good fucking job doing it. So I respect that. Like, I could appreciate that. But you got a pen, sir. For, with a name that cold. I'm glad <laughs> you had a pen. Because <laughs> I would have been silly. pissed. I'd have been like, change your name. I'd have been like, change your, <laughs> change your whole name. I already name. know how y'all get down. So. <laughs> I probably would have told you to stop rapping. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you, you probably would have been like 000.1. <laughs> <laughs> Go to your mom and ask her how to abort you. <laughs> yes. Is it too late for an abortion? <laughs> No, but, but I, yeah, I, we appreciate that because people always say like, you know, people want to cry and say we hate on like new age and all that stuff. It's like, no, nah, we just at the end of the day, we want quality music. We want something good, but we also want it like listening to this. I'm like, all right, I kind of get the idea of who this person is who went into this. You know what I'm saying? This wasn't like a blank, like any artist could do this type of shit. And that's the shit that I hate when it's like the new age sound. When people copy the new age sound, most of the time they never want to put their own twist to it because they just want to blow. Yeah. And that makes it trash because then it's just cookie cut. It's the same shit. It's like, it, it's crazy. If we we should we should have an episode dedicated to the new age that we're trying to show people of and just play every song that we think sounds the same. It would be a fucking thir- ten hour episode, bro. It'd be crazy, bro. Because like we hear we do so like many- a charity stream. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's crazy. Yeah, it's that, crazy. That or sing, it's, it's, either, it's either that or singing rap. Or singing rap. Um, I came from the mud. Uh-huh. The, oh, too much auto tune. And it's like, yo, like, 
Right, you can. It's like some people. It's like yo, if you want to make music that sounds like that's cool, but make it you. You know what I'm saying? Like. Say some shit about your hood. Like, I don't want to feel like some suburban kid who's never stepped foot in a hood can write this music. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to I wanna know what fucking 25 cent snacks you had growing up. Like, you know what I'm saying? Is it the same as mine? Like, you know what I'm saying? I want to know what was in your fridge when you was young. Like, if you had 10 fucking brothers and y'all split two beds, I want to know that. I want a piece of where you're from. To make me commit, because it's like, other than that, if you're not going to give me even that much, then why the fuck should we give you these streams? Why should we give you money as an artist? Just so you can get famous and be a dickhead, too, like these other famous dickheads, you know what I'm saying? Been yeah, there, done that. I, I think it's an entitlement issue, in all honesty. You know, folks, they write the music, and then, well, shit, I can't even say write, because yeah. I've been in studios with a lot of these dudes. They just go in and get high and says the first thing that comes to their head and then when you say oh, i'm not really feeling it well you know it's a vibe yeah it's a you, vibe. you gotta you it's gotta, a wave. Listen. You gotta it's a open wave. yeah you gotta yeah. open your mind it's just corny actually i've been I actually saw a, a, i saw a studio session once where it was like i i feel like it was like 12 kids and they made a song it was a bunch of these motherfuckers and it was out in the city and these cats oh, i can't remember the group it was a group name too it wasn't well. They their crew had a stick, name. Is it stick side? No, no, no. <laughs> they 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 try to write. Don't hate them. Like, leave stick side alone, man. <laughs> but no, nah, it was a bunch of cats, and they um they had a team name, but I don't remember. But it was one of them that rap. I was gonna say another joke, but I'll keep that to myself. <laughs> Just <it's> petty. <laughs> so this dude take was that, in the take that, put it away. This dude was in the booth, and <laughs> all his boys was just like he would go in the booth, he would say some shit. And then they would, they would, you know, the fucking mixer would stop the music. And his boy would be like, yo, this would sound good. He yelled out a line. And he record that line. And his other boy was like, yo, try saying this. And then he wrote it down. And his other boy was like, oh, yeah, yeah. You know, and it was like. It's that, they, co- it's that co-op rapping. Yeah, yo, they created a song. And it was like, literally, it was like, I think it was like 11 cats. And they each pit- chipped. They all p- chipped in 25% of the song each. Like, they all chipped in at least two lines. And it was a full song. And I was I was mind blown because it was literally them saying shit that they've heard in other songs and just making him just they probably make, you know what I'm saying they, like, all, they all chipped in for the studio session it's that build a <laughs> rapper shit Fact. And I was it's like that like, post oh. I saw on Facebook the other day oh that was wild yeah he, he got saw, crazy he too. saw someone post literally asking like any ghost he was like yo are there any producers or ghostwriters out there <laughs> and then I was like you're just blatantly asking for a ghostwriter and then he was like. Yeah, you know, it's not. It's just for one verse, and then I was like, okay, well, at least he's honest. And then he he deleted his original comment and was like, oh, you just starting trying to start shit, dropping Addy, and then I just was like, giffing him to death after that. I was just like, clown. He wanted your address. I was like, you clown. He was like, I'm in Naples. What's good? And I just sent him a gif of me. <laughs> oh my dude, if you go see, here's the thing, like publicly. Yeah, it, it, yeah. If you don't publicly <laughs> ask for a ghostwriter, then I mean, just own the shit. But then you don't get to come back later on getting pissed off when people make <laughs> jokes about, well, did you write Some... this one or did you write this one? Yeah. I, crazy. I mean, yeah. Well, I mean, it's it's, it's, like, it's like weave. If you paid for it, it's yours, right? <laughs> don't tell them. Oh, I mean, I mean, yeah. You you bought it. You put it on your head. But that's so like no, no, but no, no. Yours, but then you take it off. Of your but, then you, yeah, but then you, ghost, but ghost then you is sell it. To weave. But then you sell it. <laughs> yeah. So it's wholesale weave. Yeah. <laughs> it's the warehouse. It's like yo, you know. let me buy this cheap weave. I'm gonna flip it. I'm gonna pretend that this weave is from fucking, you know, from like from Dubai. I'm gonna mm-hmm. sell this shit for two stacks. So it's literally like five hundred percent profit. Hey man, they might you know they might be on to something. These SoundCloud rappers, now I think about it, they might be on to something. <laughs> hey, maybe my whole thing is just if you do that, that's cool. I'm not judging you, but then don't come back around later you. talking about yeah, you're an MC. I'm, I'm, I'm judging, judging you. you. Fact. I'm judging you. Hey, that, that's fair. <laughs> I'm just out here like word. That's what we're doing now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like. You can't claim the terminology MC anymore. I'm yeah. like, I don't want right. to hear. It. There's, there's, there, there, there's no now. such thing as uh, well. There is. Um, that's <laughs> that, there's a the the rate of MC is shrinking daily. <laughs> Yo, it, uh, what's crazy? It should be like you ever see how militant MMA niggas get when you talk about wrestling. Yeah, and they be like, that's not real. Like they want to fight you. That's we need that kind of barrier. Those type of gatekeepers for hip hop. 
You know what I'm saying? We, that's us. That's literally us. We need yeah, to be like, us. you're not an MC. Like, cut the shit out. You're an entertainer, sir. Like, that's it. We need people to just tell you're people. You're a pop Sit down. Yeah, you're a pop singer. That's that's it. You have no bars. You don't rap. Like, don't come in here saying you rap. You make pop music. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, <laughs> us. Us. Yeah, we, <laughs> but we need that energy as a community because there isn't a single MMA fighter that's going to tell a, you that wrestling, the like, WWE small is community. real. Very yeah. small community that yeah. does that. It's we're building. Crazy. We're building an environment for that. <laughs> a hostile, <laughs> a hostile environment. Sure. Make hip hop hostile again. Yeah, that's a fact. <laughs> it's, it was a competitive sport for a reason. Yeah. Like, come on. Like, get. Let's get active. Like all this soft shit, man. People are just. It's crazy, bro. And what's funny is like, we get we get so much shit from, especially from people who submit to us, and they should know better. You know what I'm saying? That's another thing. Like when people submit to us, they're just like, "Oh man, reviews!" Like some dumb kid, you know what I'm saying? Like, "Oh, reviews!" And they don't look at what, like, what's in store. Like, there's a warning on a page. Facts. It's like, just skim some of the albums, and if you see one that sounds kind of like you, look at the review, and then just think twice. You know, just be like, "I don't know." <laughs> With how many people actually submit to us, it makes me wonder how many people don't, and then we just catch their project by accident. And they're like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> like we thought we slid under nah, the nah, radar. Nah, nah, like, but the thing, see, the thing that like, was funny is like sometimes I'll catch, because like, you know, I know a lot of artists, and I'll catch some people post some shit, and I know they're secretly trying to make sure I don't see it on yeah, Facebook. Yeah, that's going on the list. And then I'll, stand, <laughs> I'll just put it right on the list. Like, uh, you know what? I'm feeling petty today. I'm going I'm to grab this dude's shit. But the th- the ones that are strictly review submitted are on Saturdays. All of the SoundCloud ones are they are submitted. <laughs> I wrote a letter. That is not our responsibility. You know what I'm saying? Like though those ones are not us. So like wrote, those people sent that. <laughs> yeah, so, they asked for this. Yeah, those people on Saturdays ask for it. I you know how I, Well recently everybody asked for it if you think yeah, about much. it. Facts. And we we only do requests. Somebody asked ask, us. Yeah. Somebody asked us to do you it. You know how I know like when a Saturday release when I know someone doesn't pay attention when they message us like they'll submit a, a Saturday release on like a Monday. And then they'll message me like Wednesday, like, oh, when's the review going up? And I'm like, you don't know this page. <laughs> you you clearly <laughs> sent a SoundCloud like, like you fucked up. And I immediately I'll put that on a list. Like, all right, I'm going to do this one. But I know they fucked up. And, you get and cooked. Yeah, 90% <laughs> of the time they get cooked. And it's like, well, they, they weren't paying attention. Yo, check check out my mixtape. Fire emoji, fire emoji, praying hands. <laughs> oh, muscle, muscle, muscle. Got to get bodied. <laughs> no, my, my favorite my favorite submissions that I've been taking for myself lately as like a late night like a delicacy for me is whenever someone's like, "Oh, this asshole raps in my school. I can't stand this kid." Oh, like, here's this project, and I'm like, "Oh yeah," <laughs> I'm like, "Yeah, this is petty." <laughs> There's one on the list that I wanted Mark to do. He never did. Just Which specifically, one? the Doc one. Did it Barrett oh, yeah, do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think Barrett, so. I think Barrett ended up doing it. Did Barrett it. do it? Oh, I, I think he remember. might. <laughs> if it's if not, I'll put it on my list. <laughs> I want you to cook him. But yeah. So anyways, Jeez. back to the minus us talk. We talk about cooking people a lot because that's that's kind of what our business is. But uh, yeah, well, let me ask you, Strand. What do you think of the page? you think that's needed in this in this climate of music? Get your cat out of here, Walko, man. What's it's your not cat my doing? cat. It's Barrett's cat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, I, I believe there's a yin and a yang. I mean, you, this has been going on since the beginning of time. Mm -hmm. Like, even going back to, let's say, the Roman Olympics, and you would have some people (laughs) where they're they're, they're nice. (laughs) Like, yeah. Well, no, nah, if it's if it's M, he would stand. He'd stand <laughs> just up stand up there, like off with his head. He'd have someone make a statue of a thumbs down and point at it. Mark would be shit. Mark would be doing a backflip off the stage to do the thumbs down. Like, ah, I don't like the that. Zero 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 point one. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, but he won. Thumbs down. <laughs> oh, it's a fact. Oh man. Oh, it's the best, man. <laughs> people yeah we have m i i don't but like one thing that's good about m's very very specific brand of like reviewing is like strange enough people come they're like Yo, i want m to review it you know what He's i'm saying man yeah people want to impress they want to see him like their project <laughs> he got someone we usually don't double dip like if we if i, I review an artist him. 
yeah. I killed him. <laughs> like, if I review one, then I, I won't do it again. You know, if they submit again. Shit like no. that. We try to keep it fair. You, you, you talk about Dun, Di, Dunk, Dunk Man. Dunk Man. Oh, Dunk, I did, Dunk, I did Dunk, his Dunk second Cat. project, called him my son, and told him I was disappointed in him. <laughs> <laughs> so this kid this kid did one he put it in and the first one M destroyed him destroyed this kid and i was like man it's rough and then he he came back he's like yo i put something else together and he's like always on the page he's looking at reviews he's like commenting and whatnot and he was like yo i got another project i think it's gonna be a little bit better than my last one but yeah, i want him to do it and i'm like uh, gladly bro like yo i like that energy even if it's like, bad again i think it's uh i gave him a point three so i gave him <laughs> so i gave him no 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 that was his first review and it, it was 0.3 percent better so you got a 0.6 out of 10 that's improvement i gotta post that this week that's Woo! it that's a that's a no, what is it? Isn't that like a hundred percent improvement you gave him which one was the one where you gave the artist i think it was a dumpster truck out of ten. <laughs> There's been a lot of those, my friend. Yeah, we've all given like Korea. I've gave a guy <laughs> negative six Satan's. I, uh, I remember that. I remember the I, dumpster I truck. I recited one. somebody's uh, tracks, track lyrics, like tracks. <laughs> track. That was good. That was art. That was underrated yeah, work of art. Yeah, that was work of art. Yeah. Dude, sometimes people get killed. <laughs> What's funny is when they like there was the one you did uh, this Saturday. One dude got killed. Oh, when I when I wrote a letter to him. Yeah, he hit him with a full <laughs> letter. And yo, oh, not a letter, very brief. When they get that bad, fucking bad. people in the comments go nuts. Like we had like three different artists. Like yo, man, I tried listening to see if it was really that bad, man. They're like, I don't know. I think it might be that bad. I'm like, yo, we're not just dicks. Like it's a fact. If it's bad, it's I, I bad. I know there was a few you guys reviewed, <laughs> and I went to check it out myself. I'm like, nah, it can't possibly be, <laughs> and they this be bad. bad. It is and that I'm bad. I'm listening to it. And then I respond back. I'm like, yeah, it's that bad. But, but I, I try to do positive reinforcement. And nah. th- that was the one dude. I forgot his name. Oh, I don't he, know. he like came oh, at you. Oh, whatever it was. Uh, he, but, the one dude, he like came at you for talk, for like trying to give him like, <laughs> you tried to give him like a positive, uh, like a review. And he came at you like, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm, I'm like, dog, I'm trying to help you out. I'm much nicer than these three motherfuckers than I hear shit on you. Right, right now, we have three stages of hate. It's jo- it's Walco, Johnny, me. Yeah. You know I mean? Walco's the nice dad. John- yeah, I'll give you some advice, kind of hold your hand a little and slap you. Johnny's going to beat you, but be, but also be nice. Yeah, I'll tell you, like, it hurt I'm me gonna, more than it hurt you, you know? I'm I'm kicking you out. <laughs> Yeah. Mark's yeah. breaking his belt and then punching you for breaking his favorite belt. Dude, some of these cats, like, they get mad hostile. And it's like, bro, like, one, you knew what you were submitting to. Two, like, it's a cold world out there. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, we're blank. just, it's just one opinion. You asked for our opinion. We gave it to you. Like, to be mad at it is like, there's no growth. You know what I'm saying? Like, go figure it out. You don't want, you know, like. Just keep it moving. Yeah, figure yeah. it out. Yeah, figure it out. And they, they, they seriously just lose their mind. I said, I remember the one came at me sideways. And I'm like, dog, I listened to your project. I know I can wrap circles around you. Yeah. This is not the kind of you you do not want this smoke right now. Yeah. That's I'm feeling very philanthropic. <laughs> <laughs> one of the biggest hangovers for me is that, like, I know that people can listen to their shit and be like, this ain't it. Yeah. And then they just fucking put it out anyways. And then they try to convince other people that it is it. It's like, no. It's It's crazy. Yeah, man. It's like, yo, it's like, fix your circle, bro. Like, whoever's telling you that's fire, or if it's you, like, like, do something, bro. You got to get off the drug. Something. We had one um, we did last week. That kid, this kid, Pagney, he, um, Pagney Music, he was like. Oh, I know what you're talking about. (laughs) And Pagney, Pagney had a project from us. It was all right. It was like a three piece back in the day. And it was okay. It was like a little, it was bearable. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like, it didn't blow my mind, but it was a little three piece. I was like, cool. Green check. He sent in his project. He was hyping it up for weeks. He was like, man, this is a 10 out of 10. I'm like, yo, how do you really feel about it? Nah, it's at least an 8. I'm like, all right, you're hyping it, but I'm like, all right, we'll give it a listen. And it was weak. I'm like, bro, this shit sound like I could pick 10 artists with my eyes closed that this shit sound just like. I'm like, bro, there's nothing about you in this project. And he's like, oh, you know, it's a more mainstream approach. I'm like, I get that. But I'm like, I'm not supposed to like it because I know that. I'm like, there's nothing in it for me to like, but I understand that it's that. And this dude was like, (laughs) He was in the comments, all this and that, and like trying to like sway the crowd, and people were like, "Nah, bro, like this is just regular, bro." Like, he just he just wouldn't let he wouldn't lay down and take out, it, you know. Put out a Reggie's album and yeah. tried to die on the hill. And then what's funny? 
I, I, I took a shot that I know he probably felt that maybe people reading it didn't feel, but I was like, bro, salute to having the same spaceman as everybody else on your album cover. Because we posted a review that same day of a little album cover with two of the exact same spacemen on it. <laughs> so and I'm then, like, bro, you can't Jar- tell me it's original when you have and- unoriginal art on your shit. <laughs> Jar Love was shortly before that too. Same <laughs> yeah. space man. Yeah. Oh. No, but this kid's was the exact No, I know I know who you're talking same, about. It was holding the same ball of color. I'm like, bro, like we're like we're smarter than this, bro. Like you're not gonna pass this. Did body. you just Google that picture? Like Yes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like I'm like bro, No, he's that type who doesn't drag his album cover into Google search. Yeah, that's a fact. To see if it's the only one. Dude, some people will hustle yeah, you know, and that you we see it. Every time you post something on there, you know, you get those bots. Oh, I do art. You know, and they put anytime you hashtag hip hop. Oh, I hate those oh, motherfuckers. The passion or that of a K-E. thousand burning sons. Does anyone know who KE is? <laughs> I, I see a lot of posts it's my, about it's, this. It's K-E my cousin. Guy. <laughs> and I'm like, who the fuck is this KE guy? Why is he on, why is this on every one of my posts? Like, I don't get it. But, dude, it's wild, bro. Like, they, those people with the art, like people will just steal some shit, color the background black, and sell it to you, bro. It's like, it hurts. We've all been scammed before, but like, don't get mad when someone's telling you you got scammed, whether it's in yeah. joke form or not. There is a there is a hint of honesty in it. <laughs> and, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's a truth behind it. So take hey, it man. with a grain of salt. It's like people who steal beats, Spencer Gomez. <laughs> That was petty as <laughs> spicy. But yeah, there's that too. People who steal beats. It's like, come on, bro. Like, God. that's another thing that like I'm not. I don't rock with. I'm, I'm wait. I'm waiting for the Fat Latin rapper project to come out just so I can see if he stole one of my beats. <laughs> Yo, that, you want to hear some wild shit? So uh, I was rocking with these cats. The one that he's being spicy about. Is that over yet? I don't know. But um, I was rocking with these cats, and there was two songs. Johnny's checked out. It's two, oh, yeah, I'm so, I'm so checked out. It's two songs. So homies was like, yo, we got these two singles coming out. And they sent these two songs. And I'm like, I rapped over those two beats maybe six, maybe six years ago. Two back-to-back songs. And I sent it, and there was crickets in the group chat. No one said nothing. And I'm like, I'm like, we just stealing beats? And I'm like, because I stole them back then. That was like six years ago. <laughs> <laughs> but what are we doing? That's why it's only on SoundCloud. Like I'm not. I stole those. So I'm like, you can't just throw that. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, if I rapped on them, everybody in 2000. You know what I'm saying? Like six years ago, was rapping over those beats because yeah. it was a. Everyone knows every year back when the SoundCloud days started, there was a select bunch of beats that were just so fire that everybody rapped on. Everybody did it. Yeah. It's so don't happened. try to pass it now. <laughs> you know what no, I'm saying? Not now. All people look for is Travis Scott style beat. <laughs> I hate that shit. It's trash. Hey, that's how I'm gonna start selling my beats to people that are just boom bap. Um, Tra- <laughs> Travis Scott style <laughs> beat. <laughs> you, might, you might low key like break some rappers, bro. <laughs> you might fuck them up, man. That's You're like, fuck, how do I rap over this? <laughs> yeah, that's cold, man. That's cold blooded. <sighs> oh man, but it's crazy, man. This is a crazy world, man. The hip hop is a it's a crazy, crazy time to be a rapper, I'll tell you that much. Scary times. I don't know why you want to be a rapper, sir. <laughs> and why do you want to rap, sir? Dude, it, it, it's my passion. I've been doing it since the eighth grade. It's, yeah? Yeah, it's literally all I know. Okay. And like, like I said, spoiler alert, when I was in eighth grade, <laughs> Illmatic dropped. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm an old head. But <laughs> Imagine being know. in school knowing that drop, too. Like, I, got, I came yeah. around Illmatic... You know, <clears throat> when did that drop? Like, fucking, I don't know. What 94. Was 94, bro. I was three. <laughs> I was four years old. See, I was young. I was I was young. I was 13. <laughs> <laughs> Ima- imagine yeah, that. How's your hips? <laughs> uh, it depends on which day. It's usually my knee or my right ankle. So. <laughs> it depends on the weather. <laughs> yeah. Cold outside. No, but, yo, that's, see, that, that I respect that. Like, a lot of people don't, there's, like, it's kind of like as much as like Jay Z's done a lot. Jay Z is a pioneer. He's a he's a god tier in this game. But Jay Z rap because it was a come up. You know what I'm saying? We all know that Jay Z was like, "Fuck it, there's money in rap. I'm finna just do it." And like he mastered it when he did it. But we got this new generation of kids that are just like, "I'm gonna do this because it's a come up." But there is like we don't have to master shit. We just have to rhyme some words and then, you gotta market properly. Yeah, and pay a bunch of people to get this out here, and that's it. Like then we're big, and it's just it's it's just. It's toxic, man. It's a fucked up, it's a fucked up, fucked up world of music, man. 
I'm like, dude, dude, can, can we really call this being marketed properly when you got folks? No, 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 no. They have to market themselves properly, even if it's for clout or even if it's, what is it? Well, that's Johnny, why controversy and, sells. And, any bad publicity is publicity no matter what. Like exactly. any publicity is publicity. It doesn't matter. Whatever gets them the bag the quickest. It doesn't matter what they do. I bet you. Yeah. I I guarantee you. I know it's against your moral standard or whatever, but I guarantee you, if you did something viral today, your music would spike. Period. For no reason. That, Maybe, that's but, how, that's but how I'm like, works. shit. At the end of the day, I would like to be able to walk down the street with my head <laughs> held high. Yeah, exactly. These <laughs> so that's the thing, have, isn't these it? Kids so, but don't some people, care. the bag is the bag is worth more than their but even their the, moral their moral. And some of them think it's cool to play the bag. But attitude. even that though, like the bag attitude, I don't think they know what the bag is. No. Oh. You know what I'm saying? They get the bag real quick. It's just smoky. And it's like if you uh, yeah. <laughs> That was a cat, bro. Cat down. Hey, Jesus. <laughs> is Baron at your house? Why is the cat there? <laughs> yeah, because he's moving. Oh, okay. Okay, but yeah, oh. but like the, the the bag era is like a weird thing because these kids see people get rich quick, right? And they're like, all right, I want to learn this get rich quick scheme. And they see these kids get rich to blow the money, but they don't see none of the behind the scenes action. So they all just they burn out quick. They burn out. They get arrested. The, you know, the government, you know, mm-hmm. the system takes the money or they just don't make they it. They go to jail money. like Takashi. And it's a wrap. And it's crazy because it's like, bro, like they're so in a rush. It's like it's like a bunch of like bunch of virgins. You know what I'm saying? As soon as they get in, they trying to just rabbit it and just finish. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and it's just like, bro, like you about to fuck up. You about to just rabbit in this. Have a baby. That shit, you know, it's going to ruin your life all over That's just a it. quick it's a wrap. And it's a wrap. Damn it. Moms is downstairs, man. You got to try to get in where you fit in. <laughs> <laughs> you hear the stairs creaking. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What was that? <laughs> That's crazy, man. Now they got kids. Fuck, like, I guarantee you, homegirl who fucking vandalized the Nipsey Hustle mural. Like, I don't even want to talk. I, I, I guarantee you she going to put out a tape. I'm, I'm telling you, it's corny, but I guarantee you she's going to put out Wait, a tape. Wait, someone vandalized the mural? Yep. She drew a dick yeah. on it. It was in Connecticut or some shit. Yeah, it was in Connecticut. The, the community, which is dope, the, the community too, not even like local gang and shit like that, they fixed it up. But like, what's crazy is like, her man was recording her. I guarantee you them two fucking clowns think that, think that that's a come up. Like, that's, that's the generation. That's how these kids are raised now, where they think that's a good thing like and they think that the sixties, and they think that the 60s is something to fuck with <laughs> yeah it's like you it's like don't matter if you're in connecticut that's it like, that's a crazy section my friends yeah like yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah you're just because you're in connecticut like don't worry like you can get touched yeah <laughs> <laughs> anybody can get got that's, that's, anybody that's, yeah. that's just that's just a phone call yeah and it's crazy because it's like i guarantee you her and her dumb ass man gonna try to put out some shit and if that don't work, I was waiting you know, for like you know a, what happens next. They do the apology thing that goes viral. <clears throat> and what are stupid ass academics and like world star and motherfuckers gonna post like, oh, girl who did this apologizes. Y'all think this is genuine or not? You know, and that's just gonna float around. Clout. <laughs> they get followers off of that. What do we have to do? <laughs> I don't know. I, I thought we were already like pretty primed for that kind of shit. But I think we stepped on too many toes. No, nah, no. Nah. I honestly, I think because we dialed back on the mainstream stuff. Yeah, probably. We do a lot because we want to, like, you know, it's fun fucking with mainstream people, but we want to represent like the underground as much as we can. But we want to, not, not even just underground, because when I think of underground, I feel like that word's been soiled. I feel like underground means <laughs> spiritual miracle literature. Like I'm gonna chop every, you know, just entrepreneurs. <laughs> I want to represent the. Running the spherical. <laughs> it's crazy, bro. Like I wanted to represent the the pioneers, but like the creative underground. You know what I'm saying? Like the creative, passionate, like those type of cats. So I feel like putting so much shine on like a fucking mainstream that like doesn't give a shit about us is just is wasting time. But when we do get around to them, we when we get to cook them, then we have a field day. Then it's fun, you know. <laughs> then we get blocked by like Dave East, Fetty Wap, and all those fuckers who blocked us. Then it's just a good time. Kids Bob Wap. Oh Lord! You know, you know it's wild. Davies blocked us, but had the nerve to go and hate on Lil Nas X. You want to know the crazy shit about that? When I first saw that shit, I, I it was twofold. On one hand, I felt 
everybody who is coming at Davey is talking about, what have you done? I don't know a Davey song. I'm like, if we're taking that approach where you have to actually accomplish something in order to have an opinion, yeah. half of these motherfuckers need to shut down their Twitter accounts. Right, everybody needs to delete their Facebook. Facts. Yeah, I'm like, real talk. If that's where we're going with it. But then on the other hand, I'm like, dog, you ain't that much younger than me. <laughs> this shit ain't for you. That's okay. Everything yeah. ain't for you. you. That's it. Yeah, like he was crazy as like there's a certain it has a certain age where you're where you're you're a hater. You know what I'm saying? Like you're an older cat in the game, like I'm a little you know, I'm a bit of an older cat in the game, so I know my limits. Like I'm not gonna just go and blatantly hate on cats just because it's a thing to do. You know what I'm saying? And him doing <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I will. You're like, well, that's why. Hey, that's why you need. I need. I, I need a shooter like that behind me. But you know what I'm saying. But it's like there comes a point where it's like there was no reason for Davies to even post that. Nope. That's pure. You know what I'm saying? Oh wow. He what was you just about earlier because it was about. What you talk, think about how much clout and shit he got just yeah. off of that. His yeah. name was trending on Twitter. Yeah. For like the first time ever. He was just mad yeah. that he got out by Styles P. <laughs> yeah. But that's what well, I'm saying. To like, be fair, Styles P does that to a lot of people. To, every, I know to damn near <laughs> everybody. We fact. know that. But yeah, like that's what I'm saying. Like The fact that Davies, yeah, he did it to trend, it puts him in that box where it's like, bro, if you're doing clout shit like that for no reason, like if you're doing sure, clout sure. shit like that, if you're doing it for the clout, you're desperate. If you're doing it because you want to sound like a real one, you sound like an old hater. You know what I'm saying? There's really no reason. There's no good for that. And then, like, for him to do that, I was more pissed because I'm like, yo, we gave him his first review when we first started the page. He was, like, our third review. He got a green check from us way back in the day. He liked it, kept quiet. And then we didn't like one project of his, and you gonna block Blocks. us on some soft shit? I'm like, what? No, 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 no. I reviewed his project. Uh-uh. <laughs> yeah, facts. But it was a weak <laughs> project. You know what I'm saying? And he wasn't even. I think. Did you give him a pumpkin? I don't even think you gave him a red. I think you gave him. Yeah, a- no, 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 no. I gave him like a zero. <laughs> oh, yeah, did you? I was he, pissed. And he because I'm because at that because before that I was a Davies. Like I'm a Davies mixtape fan. Like if that shit comes on, like I I know it word for word. But when it boils down to his mainstream projects, trash. Yeah, throw them out. Facts. All of them. But then again, you got who else did that shit to us? Which made I me got, real. We mad. got blocked by Quentin Miller for a Quentin, no, no, no. But there was someone, another bigger name, who I was like, oh man, of all the people in the world, this nigga blocks. I would never thought that. Um, Casanova. You got oh, the most yeah. gangster yeah. ass Casanova. Uh, I remember that review. <laughs> he lo- and that was my review. He loved our first review because we liked his project. We praised him. We were like, "Bro, you rapping all this?" He put out that new age garbage. I'm like, "Man, get your fucking Scooby Doo snacks growling ass off this corny project." And he blocked. I'm like, some bro, push-ups. you can't be blocking people and you over here preaching all day on your page, talking about I hope that don't go over your head, talking all this real this real that, and you gonna get butt hurt over a social media post? Like, get the fuck out of it. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit's corny, bro. That shit is wild corny, bro. I'm like, come on. Fetty Wap, same thing. Got a good project review from us. And then JP called him Kids Bop Wap. That's the thing. Now he's Kids Bop Wap. That's the thing. If you know this homegirl, I forgot her name. Uh, So we put out a. Huh? (laughs) Not so we (laughs) did. The the chick, she put out this tweet talking about reviewers. Saying I'm paraphrasing that it's not a real job and they need to go do something else. And my whole thing is, and I think I told this to the dude on your page. I was like, if they would have gave you an eight out of ten, you would have been crazy. You whole, you're complaining. Your whole right energy would have been different. <laughs> yep, your yeah. whole energy would have been different. Listen, you would have been, oh, thank you, prayer hand, prayer hand, prayer hand. Yep, they would have they would have gave us a three six mafia treatment. Slop, <laughs> oh my no. Nah. <laughs> Shout out to the real ones. <laughs> Nah, and that, that's, that's just the fact that you get a low review, and now all of a sudden it's like, oh, all reviewers suck. I'm like, no, you're just mad because this person doesn't like your project. I'm like, newsflash. Everybody is whack to someone. Facts. 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 I, said, I am a Kendrick Lamar head number one, and there's folks that say he's whack. I can't stand his voice. <laughs> It is what it is. <laughs> I but just it would not yeah, make sense it. for me to go back and forth with y'all right now. I'm like, does that change the fact that I like the shit? No. Yeah, no, never. Exactly. Yo, we had all oh, the worst is oh my God. Um uh, that other girl who blocked this one girl, she blocked us on Instagram. So one of your homegirls went on Twitter crying about it. Oh yeah. Hey, that, was, that was mad funny. She was uh, she lost it. She's still mad at me because of that. But anyways, 
And I'm like, I didn't even review it. But anyway, she could be <laughs> mad at me. You know what I'm saying? She she just she took it a whole different it. level. She was like, <laughs> Oh, you guys hate women and all this. I'm like, oh my God. Like no, I, took it I, I, I just so happen to sucks. love cheeks. Yeah. <laughs> he all he said oh, was she sounded like a pterodactyl and she was like, He hates no. women. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, she sounded like a cat and a pterodactyl together. <laughs> Oh, it is crazy. <laughs> but yeah, we had one. If one you're going to recite my bars, Johnny, recite my about, about bars. Fault, yo, about fault. I can't mess up the bars. <laughs> I think it was, Um, I feel like it was, maybe it was Sweetie's second project, but the one thing that she said to us that pissed me off, like, she, yo, we got dragged on Twitter. Her fans was <laughs> yeah. they, was, they was whooping our ass for days, bro. I was waking up, our like, hiding from my really phone, bro. They was killing us. <laughs> but she, like, one thing that pissed me off that she said that I'm like, yo, a lot of people say that and it makes me so mad. It's like when they're like, yo, it wasn't for you. And it's yeah. like, then who the fuck was it for? It's public domain. You released this on all streaming. Who is this for then? You know what I'm saying? Like, then who is it for? And that shit, that's something that makes me so mad when artists say that the shit. little hive like, that they have, that's who it's for. Yeah, their echo chamber. I, I, I'm going to tell you a quick story. Yes. I dropped a Paradise video. And this page, I still love her. Dot de. Yeah, Wanja. Yeah, Wanja. That, that's my home girl. She reposted it, and of course, I was getting a lot of good feedback. Yeah, then you're gonna get that smoke because she got some traction. <laughs> yeah, then, then folks came out of the woodwork. There was one dude who said I sounded like a great value E40. Whoa. <laughs> Yo. So it was another dude. I, I did I did say on my review, I did say you sounded like a nerdy, like a nerdy type yeah, of Yeah, and that shit pissed I, me off. I man. acknowledge you have bars though, but you do have you do sound like him, dude. You have his you sound you, like him, bro. It's can in you your do voice. That? Can you do that? Wait, wait, can you do that for us once? <laughs> nah, 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 nah. That's right. Hold your ground. That's right. Don't give in to us. Hold your ground. <laughs> nah, because see, the crazy Ooh. shit is... If you, you would have done that, it would have been over. <laughs> yeah, because someone also said that I sounded like Dale the Funky Homo Sapien and I'm lack originality oh, and all this other shit. Yeah. And I'm like, how what? can I sound like two niggas that I never really listened to? Two two uh, legends though. Two head. legends too. <laughs> huh? Two like low key like underground. Two legend like guilty pleasure legends. You know what I'm saying? They're like legends that people don't always say they listen to. But these two dudes, they sell. <laughs> so that's not, you know what I'm saying? Like hey, I, I can I can honestly say, and that's not a diss to them by, by any stretch of the imagination. But I did not grow up listening to them. I could not. I can name more E40 songs than actual Dell songs, but I never Ooh. listened through an entire E40 album. <laughs> E40's the truth. I said, uh, and then there was a rapper on there, and you could tell when it's a rapper because they'll just go over the top. Oh yeah. You know, to try to bring your shit down because their shit ain't on the page. Yep. Oh, so, yeah. So, uh -huh. well, this person doesn't have any content. You know, he's <laughs> rhyming words together for the sake of rhyming words. Oh, he tried to hit you with the word salad. <laughs> that's a. That's yeah, a... he tried to hit me with the word salad. I'm like, dog, dude, that's a even whack. I was barring out on this shit. If you listen to the EP, or hell, you even listen to my first album. Finally, <laughs> word salad was far from it. I'm like, I had a song talking about. The fear of marriage. I had a song talking about a failed suicide attempt. I talk about some shit in my music. Dude, that's a that's a whack rapper's like go to insult. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because oh, they know because every every rapper like you know I write too, like I rap too. Every rapper doesn't like we already have a hard time giving our message out. Like you know what I'm saying? We already have a hard time d portraying exactly what we want the people to take from our music. It's part of the craft. We learn how to do it in our own ways. So when someone just blatantly says that, one, the first thing that comes is that nigga ain't listen to us. You know, we're immediately yeah. like, that motherfucker ain't listen. And you get it's an easy button for <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> as much as I know I don't I don't word salad, I would have cursed him. I would have <laughs> I'd been like, motherfucker, I would have went on his page. I would have broke down his lyrics. I would have turned. Your kids is ugly. Uh -oh. <laughs> Oh I no! I didn't snapped. have to do that. There, there was people who were doing that for me, and I didn't send them <laughs> help. The dude who produced uh, the whole project of which called Paradise Collective, yeah. he's going back and forth with this dude in the DMs. I'm like, dog. It's okay, let it go. <laughs> it's not that serious. I love At the that. Day, 
There's going to be people See, who like you. There's going to be people who dislike you. Focus on the ones who like you and the ones who don't like you. Fuck them. You're not going to bring them over to your side anyway because they didn't want to hear you in the first place. <laughs> I just hit everybody with the LOL. See, me, I play the hate game very well. I play the hate game. is is fun for me. I give them just enough, and I'll talk just enough shit to keep them watching because – at the end, of, if you can keep them at that cusp where they're looking at your post, they don't even have to be liking, but they will jump <laughs> on it whenever they see some shit. They are your Silently biggest fan. Hating. They are your biggest fan. And that's when you let them, <clears throat> when they realize that, when it gets real hot, that is, there is no better satisfaction than calling someone who is blatantly trying to disrespect you their fan. Because they will, it cancels everything out. It feels great. Like I said, like I said, <laughs> LOL. <laughs> yeah, it feels great. I've called a couple. I've had people block me because of that, like hating on my page, like, oh, you always rap about this. You've never been about that. I'm like, yeah, actually. But I'm like, but you would know that since you're my biggest fan. And it, I've seen people's accounts crumble. Like, I've seen people quit. Like, I've seen people <laughs> fall. Like fucking- and it's like, hey, you're watching me. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I don't know anything about you. And I'm like, that's cool. <laughs> you know more about me. You're my fan. And it hurts. <laughs> Yo, I-, I have to add one thing because I mentioned this in the uh, messages. I said, my boy Hub City, man, you ain't had to do him like that, bro. <laughs> you 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 ain't had to do him like that, man. I, I thought that verse was dope. I stand behind it. Said, to be fair, you guys aren't the only one who said that. Do you guys watch uh Luke James at all? No. Nah. All right, yeah, he's a reviewer on YouTube and he reviewed the album as well. And that particular song he said that was the weakest verse on there. And well, I, if we're not I the only like ones it. telling you that, <laughs> hey, hey, and they told you that's, that's can we get an F in the chat? <laughs> hey, I, I stand behind I my boy. That. I thought I the verse that. was. I said I thought the verse was good. You know, I have to stand behind it because if I didn't think it was good, yeah. I wouldn't have put it on there. So okay. I can't just leave them out to dry. That's not true because <laughs> I, I, I I've been in that situation where I didn't like a song and I had to put it out. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta do what you he gotta can't do. Say that shit enough. <laughs> shit enough, <laughs> dude. Uh, I, I, yeah, I you know, the verse was uh, dope. So I, I, I was like, "What didn't you like about it? I thought it had nice punchlines and for flow me, whatnot." The punchlines, to me, they were like. He was grabbing punches from out of space. I feel like he picked up his phone or found like a notepad he had left in his room from a couple years before and was just grabbing like flipping pages. It's funny because it's punch true. Line, yeah. Flipping oh, pages. Oh, oh, oh. I feel like there was no like the punches were so random and like you're like everything else on the song was was clicking for me because I was like yo I'm feeling this and I feel like his punches were just like a car crash like they were so like the punches weren't terrible he but I feel like they were so random. They, they were, <laughs> yeah. He, <laughs> he was just. Pull, I feel like he was black. just pulling out punchlines from everywhere, and I felt like it just didn't fit the the tone. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it didn't fit the song, and I was like, "Come on!" Like if it was on something you completely killed, different. So in retrospect, you killed your man. <laughs> he was just. I'm like, come on! I get it. Punchlines well, are fun, but like, come well, on. You want to know the? You want to know the crazy thing? Is that was not my original verse on the song, and I know y'all. Yeah, you told me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You told me. You said you had to rewrite. That was not my original verse. I had a different verse, and then he sent his, and the energy was just so high. I was like, Nah, nigga, you are not gonna Eminem renegade me on my own shit. So I rewrote my verse, and the one you heard, that was the rewrite. So that's why I said. The verse was tight enough to where I had to go and rewrite, but hey, uh, apparently folks don't agree. <laughs> I don't know, man. Maybe your new it verse just was, wasn't hitting for maybe everybody. Your new I guess. verse was more focused that it threw all the focus off of his. It made his seem random. Maybe that's what it does, man. Maybe it's your it's your fault we don't rock with his verse, man. You, maybe you sabotaged. You took away that steam, bro. <laughs> Oh man, I was like, you know, when you said that too, I was like, man, I know where he's coming from, but I was like, I just wasn't feeling it. But I did check out Hub City, some of his stuff too, and I was like, I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at him. He just that the song, it just, you know, it, he took away from the how it was, especially where it was at in the project. Like for me, this is where the two songs before it, I'm like, I am all in. You know what I'm saying? It was hitting, and then it was like this song, and I'm like, this song's cool. And then I heard his voice, his verse, and I was like. Ugh. But I mean, it is what it is, man. <laughs> I mean, still, song was good. It still got a thumbs up. But he took away, you know, he took away that wave from you. It's all good though. <laughs> so blame him. <laughs> uh, I, 
I still ah, feel blame like you boy. Ain't dope. Now, that's all. <laughs> Yo, I don't like giving out yeah, so, shit. <laughs> yeah, so did so did Taco, and he got a seven point eight. <laughs> I don't like giving out eights, man. I get petty. Whenever you see the point in mine, I was being petty as hell. I was just like, nah, I ain't going to give it to him. I ain't going to give him that eight. Nah, yeah, I kind of picked up on that because I'm looking at the review. I'm like, yo, <laughs> you like the album. How is this a 7.5? 7. 7. <laughs> <laughs> I get petty sometimes. I'm like, I'm like so just, just give what? me the eight. You know okay, you want to so, give me the eight. <laughs> so if your boy's verse was better, you yeah, would have had the eight. Yeah, if his that's verse, was, if his verse that, would have hit, you would have had that eight. <laughs> his verse took you down a rating, but... I mean, no, nah, the project slides, though, man. Like, I enjoyed it a lot. Like, I bumped it for a minute after the review dropped, too. Like, it's just a good time. Actually, it's on that playlist that we put out, too. But uh, that, um, what was it, Formatic, that track's on my playlist, one of my playlists, my workout playlist. So Yeah, that's actually going to be the next video. Hey, that's what I'm yeah. talking about. There you go. Get that fire video going. You got to let us know when that when that starts coming around. We'll, we'll, we'll do some posty posts and all that good stuff. <laughs> But um yeah man other than that though the project that's good though you had um for uh Wanja she posted did she give you one of her bootleggy bootleggy reviews or did she just post it like straight up? Nah she just posted straight up. All right good because see one of the I always talk about one of the reasons like I started the page you know salute to her she does her thing she's she doesn't yeah. no no slight to her but when I was uh there's there's slight to her the, the the review thing so she did uh she did a review for me for um one of my tapes that came out. And I just wasn't feeling, I was just like, it was so cookie cutter. And I was like, I feel like she didn't even listen to it. You know what I'm saying? It was one of those reviews. And I was like, you know what? I I tried looking at other places for reviews and like, you could only find like mainstream pages. They were like big, big pages. And you had to be a name to get a real, yeah. yeah, To get a real review, like hip hop DX, you know, 3H, all that stuff, the hip hop, the whatever. Yeah. So I was just like, this is whack. So I was like, you know what? I wanted to put together a platform that's like where there's you can't question that we didn't listen to each songs. <laughs> you know, we're giving each song a vibe and emoji and then we're doing a quick rundown. No bullshit. Just a straight up review. We hit the points and we're not going to give you an essay. We're not going to give you some bullshit words. We're going to talk to you like you're in a barbershop with us or you're on the front steps with us. And that's how like you just pulled up and we're like, hey, listen to this. Yeah. And we'll just tell you <laughs> straight up. You know what I'm saying? And that roll like, your window up. <laughs> yeah. And I feel like and honestly, like. I mean, everybody's going to say like they feel a certain way about like something that they put together. But I do feel like it's there's not a lot of places where you can get that kind of authentic feel like of someone actually listening to your stuff. But there's also not a lot of places where you can just where you're going to outright get cooked. And that's the danger of it. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the beauty of it. Even like Fantano's like everybody loves Fantano's reviews. He don't even be cooking people when he don't like their stuff. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, let's bring that twist. Yeah. For a while, I did not. Fuck with Fantano at all. Sometimes it feels like he's getting paid. Well, he definitely is. That, he, I just he, felt, he, I, he gave Earl Sweatshirt an eight. Oh, he was wilding. He got the bag for that. Yeah. The, the the most recent Earl Sweatshirt album. Yeah, he yes. like no, I, no, he gave it a nine. He almost gave it a ten. He gave it like a low nine. He he like praised it, and I'm like, what? I'm like, what are you listening? I'm to? like, were we listening to the same? Pro- I like Sweatshirt, but we're we listening to right. the same yeah, project. Yeah, I'm like, what? He was saying all this stuff like, oh, he was talking about, he was crazy about him. He'll say some shit. And I'm like, bro, he'll shit on an album and be like, oh, the quality was terrible with this and that. It isn't Sonic, blah, blah, blah. And then the sweatshirt one, he's like, oh, the quality is very low and bad quality, but I liked it. I'm like, the, what? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what? Like, that don't make no sense. Die. <laughs> but yeah, that project, that project for, for, for the sweatshirt that we all grew up knowing and loving, that was not it. You know what I'm Doris. saying? Doris. Doris, yeah, it's one of my favorite projects ever. It's a great project. Even the one, the one after was fun. I don't like shit. I don't go outside. I like that one too. (laughs) Yeah. Oh yeah. And that's like the, and that's like I get it. Lo-fi is like the thing now. It's the YouTube hit sensation thing that people like. But there's a certain, you know what I'm saying? Like I feel like Earl hit harder, like on Chum. You know what I'm saying? He hit harder when he was talking about the real shit. That Talk shit was poetic, dad. you know what I'm saying? But when you do like the lo-fi thing where you're just drooling out back-to-back stuff, there's no conviction, and you're talking about that dark type stuff, it's like, come on, bro, like, you got to sell it to me. You know what I'm saying? You got to sell it to me. Now, you know who I felt would have done better with that album? Who? I actually think Tyler, the creator, would have done better with that album. Fact. Fact. Yeah, I think that would have worked better for him Fact. than Sweatshirt. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Tyler, because Tyler at least would... You can expect multiple things. Yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? But like, like Tyler, he knows when he's on something that sounds dullish or boring, he's going to give you shock value. He's going to give you, you know, he's going to give you a bunch of shit. He's going to give you some evil shit, but it's not like it's just raw, like random evil. It's, it fits like it's, it, it, it's, it's structured. You know what I'm saying? And that type of shit is like, oh man, people, people just don't love hip hop as much anymore. Cause like sweatshirt even came out talking about all his older stuff. He wasn't a big fan of and all this bullshit. It's like, bro, I used to listen to that orange juice track on the odd future tapes. That fucking nigga is coverage cowardly. Like you had some of the best fucking bars ever. You're going to say like, that wasn't good to you. Like what? That's crazy. It wasn't going to complete artist. Yeah. Like, come on, bro. Don't forget where you came from, bro. I, I feel like that's some shit that, or some Hollywood as shit. A ploy to sell the new shit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's some shit to like. It's a risky move because when you do shit like that, it hurts your core fan base. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, there's no Earl Sweatshirt without Odd Future. Like, there is no Earl Sweatshirt without people knowing you as Tyler's son. <laughs> like, you know, like you're his, you're his child. Like, there's so it's like if you just gonna shit on that for some marketing shit, that's trash. That's yeah. garbage. That's I, like fucking I, Snoop. Like, oh fuck Dre. All my shit with Dre was trash. <laughs> what? Yeah, like Dre made you son. Yeah, like what? If it weren't for then you know what? Colors, colors, colors. Dre, my hero. <laughs> but I mean, it is what it is. But um, damn, we've been talking for a minute. <laughs> we usually try to keep you about an hour. I don't know how long it's. I feel like it's been a bit. How long we've we been going? I think an hour. I don't know. <laughs> You're the one. With, you're the one with the OCD timer. Yeah, that's a fact. I do have the OCD timer, but I also got Game of Thrones. But anyways, but yo, we appreciate. What do you, you mean Game of Thrones? Over. It's it's eight twenty three. Doesn't Watch start for another. Watch bro, because we have an episode to do. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> we got an episode to do later. All right, we still have our rundown. But yo, man, uh, my man, yo, we appreciate you chopping it up with us. We don't like to keep you too long because you know no one's gonna listen for a fucking hour. You know of us talking about God knows nothing. But yo, man, tell us, tell us remember. where to get your music. Give us the goods, man. Uh, let's see. Uh, Dirty Needles on Spotify, on Apple Music. Um, hit me up on Bandcamp, especially Bandcamp. That one helps me out more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, Bandcamp helps. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Bandcamp helps. Uh, Dirty Needles 330, all one word. Uh, the same with the social media handles Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Dirty Needles 330. Listen to me spit some rhymes and say some occasional funny stuff here and there. <laughs> Facts. Facts. But, um, and one more thing before I close this out and kick you off the show. But, um, what's next after this project? Uh, what's next? I am dropping a full length later on this year, which is the follow up to finally. Yeah, because I wanted to get the bar session out of the way first, because on the next one is definitely going to be more personal, like the first album. So, as I said, with this, I just wanted to show that I was about the shits when it came to the bars. And that's no question. Yeah. So don't go spitting no subliminal lines because I will launch a missile back. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> that's what I stay telling people. I'm like, you think because I write this constant shit, I will not bar you to <laughs> death? Suffer, Are you suffer and suck a tad. <laughs> Fact. Can't people, wait. people sleep. Dude. Mm-hmm. I'm like, bro, I'm a student of this shit. I used to write bars before bed. You mm-hmm. kidding me? But anyways, I feel that. I do feel that. Because, like, they just think, oh, you want to write about some real shit? Oh, you know, he don't got no bars. That shit pissed me off. But I feel oh, that. Yeah. yeah, I feel that. All right, I feel that. I fuck with you for that, man. But, yo, for real, yeah, let us know when that shit starts to come together, man. Well, I would definitely want to help you promote it. We also want to get that early listen, that sneak peek, you know what I'm saying? Get the early review. No doubt, man. Ho- <laughs> hopefully, uh, you know... M doesn't give me a <laughs> booty cheek. <laughs> oh, Are you saying you want M to review the next one? So you one? say yeah. you want M to take the next one? Done. Uh, <laughs> Don't look I, into his eyes too long. You start to trust him, man. That's a bad <laughs> move. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I know you, you, know, you could be cool call, to someone, but when it comes it, down to doing the review, you know, it's you, a cold you world, man. Professional. Fact, <laughs> Get yo, a blanket. I, man, I can't tell you how many people on Long Island just don't talk to me. It'd be reviews that I didn't even do, and they don't talk to me no more. I'm like, come on, bro. Like, you're, wa- we're you're friends. welcome. <laughs> no, you're welcome. They weren't your true friends. Facts. Yeah, facts. 
cry babies but yo man <laughs> salute man we appreciate it man i'll hit you up on the uh this is gonna be out wednesday so we're gonna blow you up and everything you're just gonna see tags and shit happening so <laughs> <laughs> Alright man, but I'll holler at you man. Thanks for chopping up. And you always working when you wake up. I love to fucking work, my nigga. If I could work every day, my nigga, with no sleep, I would work my ass off because I love maximizing my capabilities. I'm spending every single fucking hour writing in the basement, going over creative punchlines and dope cadences, seeing what I can make of it. And if it's mediocre, I'm erasing it. The mind of a writer never complacent. My pen is a tsunami, body and beats is a hobby. If a rapper talking sloppy, I'll fold them like orange. Origami. Acknowledge me as possibly one of the best to do it This is more than music, I am writing a movement I'm galvanizing the youth through the metronome And if I miss the target, at least I'm hitting close to home They think I'm only on some rapidy rap shit They said I need to throw some more swag on my atlas They claim that what I say is going over their head Like Sarah J's leg when she's getting pounded in bed But I'm more than just a rapper, I'm a vessel of hope And I'm pouring myself in every single word that I wrote All I do is put in work, all I do is go berserk All I do is push a pencil till my fucking hand hurts All I do is give a hundred and I go beyond on a limit and I didn't come to lose I'm a motherfucking winner All I do is put in work That's all, I all I do is put in work That's all, I all I do is put in work That's all I do I'm doing music for the love of the art And I didn't come for the cash I wanna capture your heart And I'm daydreaming and deep thought Thinking about the time I wanted to restart That's My whole journey that was foolish of me for thinking that I could be something different than destiny, provided I was kind of naive. I was yearning for a past that wouldn't hold.